TV. <laughs> so, yeah, it seems like uh, they have a negative attitudes. But also, it implies there is uh, something like part of their daily life. They are so used to be seeing bears coming into their garden. Also, I conducted survey to villagers. Um, some of the scientific part of this study was to try to identify uh, the theory of social trust. If they trust government, I predicted that they will do more preventive activities or also about risk perception, wildlife acceptance capacity. I tried to understand how many bears can they accept uh, such uh, theories are used. Some of the results, even in the same region, two different towns had so different results. One town in Kami, Kami town, uh, it seems like many people call government when they see, when they see this, but if one town, another town, most people never report sightings. I also asked you, do any behaviors to prevent damage on your passing trees? Because uh, in those rural areas, in those areas, most families or houses, they have passing chestnut trees in their garden, and that's where bears and monkeys come. So protecting their uh, trees, like by fence, is very important. But as you can see, in one town, Kami, most people protect, but in Tanto town, most people don't, majority don't protect. And so this is, Simple uh, result, but it was useful for government to set a new goals uh, where to uh, aim for uh, the reporting rate. Comparing like one village to another, I can see, for example, this one, two villages have about same amount of problems, bare problems in village. Damage is also similar, risk perception is similar, but. In this town, village, most people don't engage in intervention. They don't behave in it. But in this village, most people try to protect themselves. What is the difference? It was uh, social trust in the village where people trust government more. They listen to the government and they protect themselves more. So building a good relationship between residents and the government it seems to be uh, one key uh, factor. Also, I put results in the map and showed it to the local residents, the stakeholders, uh, saying that uh, the, the phrase, this each cell is uh, the district, uh, with uh, the more color, meaning there's more uh, that people are engaged in damage prevention activities. So this green uh, district, uh, good uh, model district, where a lot of people are engaged. But, like more like white cells. These are the places where many people just don't engage with anything. So there's probably high possibility of uh, they experience the damage by bears in the future. Other things, uh, most respondents fear risk from bears increase. They believe there are too many bears. As I said, those people who trust government more likely reported sightings, had more knowledge. And also, it seems like the more they feel risk, they cannot accept any bears anymore, so there was such relationship. Also, this is called potential conflict index. The location of bubble shows where, on average, uh, local residents feel uh, what should be done for each different situation. When bear appeared around human settlements, many people said we have to capture bear and release it after negative condition, the one I just introduced. But when the situation becomes serious, when bears attack human in mountain, in human settlements, most people say we have to destroy, we have to kill that bear. The size of bubble shows how much people agree. The bigger the size, meaning people's opinions are separated, different. So, when bears just appeared, human settlements, some people say we have to kill, some people say just drive off bears, so people don't have a consensus. But as the situation becomes serious, 
the bubbles become small, meaning most people agree. Most people say we have to kill that bear. The policy at that time says that, for example, when bear appeared around human uh, farmland, they caused damage, they first capture and release bears, as I showed you, negative condition. But it says that quite many people want to destroy that bear. So there was some gap between the policy and basin's preferences. So based on that, uh, we thought that we need some kind of a seminar that most government, local residents, sit down together, discuss, and share the information, knowledge, and also where local residents can work with government and increase their trust level for the agency. So this is discussion about this uh, survey part. Why were people's behaviors different in two towns? One town, they had more outreach, communication with people. Also that town had a history of people being attacked by bear, so people have more risk. So maybe that's why they got more uh, engaged in behavior. So um, also, based on this result, government set a new goal, try to increase the voting rate from 40% to 80% in three years. Also, it showed that uh, two-way dialogue is important. The people who thought towns, government listened to residents' concerns, they more likely engaged in behaviors. It's not about how much they provide, government provided information. So providing information, doing just lecture, one-sided uh, dialogue, is maybe not so uh, effective. We have to have two-way dialogue provide information and also local residents ask questions, more interaction will be important. So, uh, it seems like we need more social learning opportunity where people just participate, work together, know each other. So, 